Hello, welcome to Training Mark's Java Coding Challenges series. In this session, we'll discuss about one more coding challenge that is checking whether the given year is a leap year or not. So first, let us understand the logic. Uh, like, uh, how do you say whether a given year is a leap year or not? First of all, what is a leap year? A leap year will have 366 days in a year. So how we are going to say it is a leap year is according to Gregorian calendar. So a leap year should follow uh, uh, two conditions. First and foremost, it should evenly divisible by four. So if it is evenly divisible by four, then we can say it is a leap year. Otherwise, straight away, we can say it is not a leap year. Even though it divisible by four, then we need to check the second condition saying like, uh, so then we need to check whether it is divisible by 100 or not. So if it is divisible by 100, there is a chance that it is going to be a leap year. But again, you know, to check one more condition, it should be evenly divisible by a divisible by 400. So if it satisfies these three conditions, then we can say it is a leap year otherwise we can say it is not a leap year it's a very uh, simple uh, logic so here we are going to use nested if else statements to identify whether it is a leap year or not just to uh, check whether it is divisible by or not so first we'll take um, an year as a variable this is what uh, we are going to check example now according to gregorian calendar now it says that uh, you know uh, every nearly every four years uh, it's going to be a leap year. Example, I'm just taking 2016 was leap year or 2020 and then 2024 like that nearly every four years we have a leap year. So how you're going to check is first we need to check whether this year which is reminder four is equal to zero. If this is there is a possibility that we can say it is a uh, uh, leap year otherwise else directly can say it is a uh, it's not a leap year. And then if this is true, then probably I need to check one more condition that year is evenly divisible by 100. If this is true, then we are going to check one more condition. If the year evenly divisible by 400, if it satisfies all these three conditions, then I can say it is a leap year. So if any one of this condition is fails, then I can say it is not a leap year. This is what a very simple logic. So we'll write a code in Eclipse to find out how this logic works. So let me create a new Java class. So I'm now creating a class uh, to demonstrate uh, leap year. So selecting my main method and click on finish. So now you can take that number as an input to check. So I'm writing my system that out that printer and saying that enter year. So this year we are going to take it uh, through scanner. Scanner is equal to new scanner of system dot in. <coughs> And we're importing scanner class so using scanner dot next in method we need to take and then assign it to a variable called int year so using scanner dot next int so now uh, when you run this program so it'll ask you to enter the year and once the user enters that value that value we're going to store in a local variable called year now we need to check whether this year is a leap year or not so here we are going to use simple nested if else statements to demonstrate whether the given year is a leap year or not. What are the conditions it should satisfy? First, we need to check if it is evenly divisible uh, by four, then we can say it is a, a leap year. Otherwise, straight away we can say it is uh, not a leap year. And second thing is, if this is true, then we can say if it is uh, divisible uh, by 100, uh, then there is a probability. Then we need to check if it is uh, divisible divisible by 400 then it is a uh, we can say it is a leap year so how we are going to check is first I'm going to check if year reminder 4 double equal to 0 then there is a probability it is going to be a leap year else directly I can say it is not a leap year so to check whether it is a leap year or not I'm taking a boolean value now I'll say leap <coughs> is equal to leap is equal to or oh, initially I'm just going to say it is false if this is else now directly I can say leap is equal to false 
otherwise now what you are going to say is here we are going to check the conditions the second condition if the leap uh, sorry if the year reminder with 100 is equal to 0 then there is a probability then I need to check one more condition that year reminder 400 is equal to 0 then I can say that leap is equal to true so if this condition is false then I can say leap is equal to or uh, false so if this condition is true this condition is true then I can say leap is going to be true else it is going to be false now if this condition is done now here I'm going to declare the leap value is equal is going to be uh, true or uh, maybe you can directly write it in else block so I'm going to say the else block leap is going to be true so this is what uh, the condition is all about so now finally we'll check that if the leap value is equal to true then I can say that system dot out dot print the year plus is a leap year else system dot out dot print so year plus is not a leap year so this is what uh, the simple logic is all about so let me run the program so it will ask me to enter the year now let me enter 2020 so it says that 2020 is a leap year and then I'll enter 2022 2022 says that 2022 is not a leap year so an extension to this program if they ask you to print all the leap years within a range example uh, if you want to enter uh, between 2000 to 3000 how many leap years are there so now uh, now I'll say that enter the first year now this I'll give it as F underscore year and then similarly I'm just going to uh, print it for taking the range for the second year or the last year that you want to check uh, for the leap year now here I'm going to say that int last year is equals to scanner dot next in so I got these two uh, years now what I need to do is now between these two I need to run a for loop now for for now I'll say year int year is equals to the first year okay we need to initialize now then year less than or equal to the last year whatever the loop you are saying like I'll say year plus plus so I need to run this entire thing till here so but here uh, whether it is a leap year or not I don't want to print this whether it is a leap year or not I just want to print all the leap years uh, within a single line I'll say print and then which is separated by comma so now let me save uh, and then run my program so last me the first year let's say I'll give 2000 and then the last year is going to be 3000 so now it is going to print all the leap years uh, in between uh, 2000 to 3000 so this is what all the leap years we got so it's a very simple program which demonstrates uh, the uses of nested if else statements